previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. Let's go. That's not the Kimmy I know in there. I thought I could save him.
Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. And we'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh... Yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food. And, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? And we'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. I'm sorry about your sister. Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully, we can figure out a plan. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Ken. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. It was scary. I hate to say it. Sarita's on the way out. Is, uh, is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. But it's the one that's gonna be made. We're already up the creek enough without a walker to worry about. This isn't the first time Kenny's seen someone get bit. How did it go last time? It 
It was too hard for him. He might need your help. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him. Okay. It's all right, sweetheart. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone. Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> What we gotta do. We're gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. Kenny, I'm so sorry about you Sarita. Hear that, babe? Clem says she's sorry. Don't that make you feel better? <laughs> there was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out. I think I might have preferred if you do nothing. I tried to save look her. At her. I said, look at her. She is going to die because of you. Uh, uh, uh. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Now for the last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how to go? It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's around. Especially with that baby. At least you try. Still, it doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food. Water is getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. Doc Ken will have a plan. Mike, honey. <sighs> Mike's got a point. We can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance, they're still alive. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You didn't think I'd need to. I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still, I just gotta warn you. 
That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're going to get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it, if you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but... A walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You couldn't. I always wanted a sister. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just... friends. <clears throat> All right. Jackpot. But these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. I'll check this one. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Hold on to them. I'm almost getting hard to come by. Things aren't going to get better. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. It's never easy, but I don't really know how it's supposed to be. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. I'd jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Good night.
never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, Clem. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah. Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. this. Very effective. We can do this. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Looks dead. Attention. Yeah, most of these guys are gonna have nothing on them. But it's worth taking a look when it's not too risky. It's gonna take some work to get over there. There's too many. They're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Let's see if we can find anything over there. Wait. 
did the new thing. Nice trick, huh? That's a lot of walkers. And they moved up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. What did you want me to do? How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. Search him. Not all of them are winners. What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. <laughs> We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. this hurry Sarah, please who's out there Luke clam oh thank God did they find you he made a run for it looking for help I I saw him outside look he was out there but we took care of him you know I heard y'all banging through the door. I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. Luke, are you all right? I'm, uh, I'm walking. I can't do much else, though. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do without her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Just like I told you, that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We we have to go now. Shit. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... 
been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Clem, see what you can find. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three. Okay. 
Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the road. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. I hope I did the right thing. I think you did. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, just go ahead, you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No! No! <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? Henny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. 
We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. That beautiful face. So I waited. I thought maybe she'd be different. I'm sorry, Kenny. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beat every day. Duck, gotcha, Sarita. No peace, no rest. She's just keep coming. Kenny, you're not... you're not dead. We need you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me. All the time. I need you. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. That'd kill me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? Oh, God. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on. You gotta focus. Right, right. Sorry. Clean water for one thing. And blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh, stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? Just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered the head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I'd 
trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made that without her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, and disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I wanna check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else, too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Don't be too long if you can help it. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Did you find anything out here? Huh? Oh, uh, not yet. I hadn't really started looking until you showed up. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Find anything? No, not even trash.
you think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so... Can we fight him? Could be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. I just want to talk to you. Who are you? I am Arvo. I'm going to go. Oh, I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Diochka. Uh, little girl. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay. I am not going... Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns! I swear to we you! We just need to make sure you're not a threat. You drug. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no! Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please! This medicine is all she has. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey! Bandite. We've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need People that stuff! are suffering just as much as yours! You are not special! Clementine, yes, you must believe- We don't believe. believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough! Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, um, huh? No, no, I'm- I'm telling the truth! I swear upon my own life! I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no! no. You cannot take those from me! You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> no, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go.
can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Observation deck? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from them a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well? Glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. You no, know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep, that's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Claire. I know he's your friend and all. But what Kenny... To Carver. It sounded like he beat right through the corpse and into the floor. Is that where we are now? Kenny did go too far. It made me uncomfortable. There's still hope for you, man. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back. Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared and hurt. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby, back at Carver's, in the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ah, oh shit. I got this. 
We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go ahead. I'll be fine. buildings is safer than out here. This looks like where we are right now. Observation deck. I wonder if Mike and Bonnie have found anything at the museum. Trust her. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. But I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side. You watch the other. Deal. Just for show. Be handy though. Also really loud. Good point. So far, but let's give the place a good going over. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch for yourself. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Now. 
you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. I found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I guess it's better than nothing. Water! Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from... Well, that happened. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Looks pretty heavy. Ah, uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. You're right. I thought it looked like so much. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. 
And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. Come on, stick close. You just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meet. We can eat raccoon. I eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit, shit! Oh god! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh god. Oh god! Oh no! Oh. Stop! Stop! Clem! Clementine! Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke! Kenny, we've got to do something! You just keep that baby safe. Kenny! We can't stay here! Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you! Good. Someone help me out. Oh, God. There's so many. We uh, gotta get out of here. I'm not dying like this. Mike, help Kenny. On it. Sarah, get going. Here, we 
can't let them up here. he doing? He's perfect. Who's the perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. 
He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Two years ago, I'm fine. Plus, somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. this was going to turn into a thing. You know, Jamie, Sarah, I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'll be okay. Sure. But give it enough time and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do, like it's all one happy family. And when push comes to shove, you'll see. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. be asleep by now. You okay? I'm fine. Okay. Good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. 
Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish. God damn it, Jane. You know what? Just lay off. No. You put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake. All right. No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer. And Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to race him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clamp's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. It won't help the rest of us. Now what about Shelton? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> Exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have left right away instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Keeping people alive. Luke's right. Everyone's tired. Why are you taking his side again? We shouldn't even be out here. We could have got to better shelter days ago. Uh, uh, oh. Over here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh. He's okay. I've got him. No. You rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Minas Lishna! Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? 
Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? I don't like this. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. <sighs> All right. Clementine, yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. How is your sister doing? Sister? Not so good. I need, uh, uh things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you... Hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что вы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть, у них есть патроны. We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns. So we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? Maybe we can work something out. Arvo, что она говорит? Подожди, подожди. What do you mean? What would you want us to give you? I'm sorry, Clementine, but we are not here to make deals. Puriko is saying that we will take everything. This can be easy for you. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass! Listen, Arvo, why do you not listen? I'm trying. Then try harder. We have a baby! You have a baby with you? У них грудничковый ребенок! Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, просто вези оружие сейчас! И слишком много! Бурико, отойди! Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! You! Don't even try it, motherfucker! I guarantee I'm a better shot than you are! I'll drop you both before you can play! Everybody be cool! This doesn't have to go down like that! Don't kill you! Look, you don't look like stupid people! Let's just let's just think about this! If we can work something out, if nobody does anything stupid, right? Don't make me do it! Look at me! Do you hear me? Look at me! 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 Look